In honor of Black History Month, we are spotlighting an African-American male educator who spent 40 years teaching for Duval County Public Schools. Michael Williams uh, taught visual arts at least three different schools in Duval County over his four-decade tenure. However, Williams says he often found himself as the sole black male teacher in every school he worked in. News for Jack's reporter Brianna Andrews spoke with him about the importance of having black male educators and explains a national effort to boost recruitment in Duval County. Look at this picture. Mike Williams is flipping through some of the greatest moments of his 40 year long career in education. Growing up as a young black kid in segregated Jacksonville, achieving milestones like this seemed outright impossible. There were not a lot of opportunities for African Americans at that time. That's just the way things were. But I used to hear people say, if you're going to be whatever you're going to be, be the best you can be. If you're going to be a garbage man, be the best garbage man you can be. If you're going to be a maid, and a lot of those people on my street were in the area, that's what that's the kind of work they did. Despite the constraints on black individuals during that era, Williams recalls how his teachers always encouraged him to aim for the stars. I think they were our guardian angels in that neighborhood where I grew up. This one angel changed everything for him. Mr. I. Emerson Bryan, an art teacher at Stanton High School. I saw some things that I'd never seen before in Mr. Mr. Bryan's class. He was teaching architecture, he was teaching printmaking, photography, all kinds of visual arts. And everything just kind of fascinated me. And so um, I continued to, to pursue that. Pursuing that turned into a 40-year-long career as an art teacher in Duval County Public Schools. Williams saw himself in Mr. Bryan. In Duval County Public Schools today, that kind of representation between black male students and black male teachers are rare. According to a winter 2021 Jacksonville Public Education Fund analysis of three years of data from Duval County Public Schools, black students make up about 45% of the student body, while black teachers make up only 29% of the teacher workforce. Black male teachers make up less than 6% of the teacher workforce. And that representation matters so much for all of us, not just in teaching, but in a lot of professions. Uh, but for us, it is, it is uh, key. JPEF and Duval County Public Schools have teamed up with Real Men Teach to hire 1,000 male educators of color by 2025. Curtis Valentine is the organization's founder and an educator. Real Men Teach is a national effort to recruit and retain men of color in education. Right now, it's, it's an effort to sort of celebrate Duval, but also say uh, it's a destination. Uh, come to Florida, come to Duval County and teach with these amazing men of color. In Florida, we've seen some recent policy changes, especially in the way how black history will be taught in classrooms. Do you think that could deter some black males from wanting to teach here in Duval County, nonetheless, the entire state? It, it, it could. And um, I don't I don't want to minimize uh, what, what's what's happening in Florida. Uh, but I also want to highlight that there are men um, uh, of color in the state who are uh, really standing um uh, as a vanguard for, for their students uh, going by the policies, but ensuring that they're still able to teach um, America in its full history. It's a long road ahead, but Mike Williams' 40-year career in education is proof of how representation can change everything. Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.